Hi guys, and welcome to another edition of Zupo's SEO Talk and Tea. Uh, so today's conversation is about SEO and the sales funnel. Uh, the sales funnel is a very popular topic in business, especially on the sales and marketing side. And so something I want to kind of discuss is infusing that with SEO and the sales funnel. So before we jump in on in, again, this is SEO Talk and Tea. Today's tea is a, actually not exactly a tea, it's a, called a tisane. It's a it's chrysanthemum uh, tea, which is essentially chrysanthemum flowers that they pluck, dry, and then you can put hot water on it and drink it as a tea. It doesn't really have caffeine, and again, I said it's not exactly a tea, it's called a tisane, but I'm, I'm just going to call it tea, that's what I normally call it every day. Um, it doesn't have any caffeine, but it's a great, uh, sweet, kind of flowery kind of tea that I like to have in the evening if I want something warm, but I don't want any caffeine. But let's go ahead and brew, and then we can talk about uh, SEO and the sales funnel. So the reason why I want to talk about this is because there's a shortcoming when it comes to SEO and most people's thoughts. And the thought is that SEO is really just a bottom of the sales funnel kind of um, marketing strategy. And what I mean by that is a lot of people, when they think of SEO, um, we'll use um, a dentist example for this specific case. I want my dentist practice to uh, rank for dentist. When someone types in dentist, dentist near me, dentist, whatever my city is called, I want to rank for that. Very bottom of the funnel because if you're typing in dentist, you know you want a dentist and you're looking for one. And all you might do at, you, after like looking at a dentist, look at the different results, shortlist three, look at the reviews, and then call them and then end up picking one of the three. Very middle to bottom of the funnel when it comes to the sales funnel and SEO. But that's where a lot of the shortcoming is, is a lot of people think that that's where SEO would end. Hey, I ranked and that's pretty much all we can do. But that really isn't the case. Um, SEO can be optimized for more top of funnel uh, queries and searches. So let me give you a great example of something that happened in my own life. Um, personally, I care a lot about mental energy, emotional energy, and then also my time. Uh, I want to make sure I'm using my time correctly. I'm not over using my emotional energy because when I use my emotional energy too much, I get tired quicker and then I don't, therefore I don't do good work. And then of course, mental energy. A lot of my day-to-day -day work is a lot of thought strategy. I need my mental capacity to do well. So what ended up happening was I was doing Google searches and trying to find books and just any information I could find about tracking my emotional energy and my mental energy. I feel like there isn't, there wasn't a lot out there. And then what ended up happening is I just Googled some general thing. I don't even remember what the search query was, but I said something like uh, tips or pr uh, programs to uh, track your emotional energy or mental energy. And what ended up hap uh, happening is I found an article that was pretty extensive. Was, I think it was a, a thousand to two thousand words. And I remember really enjoying this article. And so I, it gave me some great insight, some great ideas. And so what I ended up doing Oh, I remember now. I, I, uh, I was Googling something called the Ultradian Rhythm. An Ultradian Rhythm is a uh, smaller version of Circadian. Circadian is about 24-hour uh, cycles. Ultradian Rhythm is more micro. It's about an hour, half to two-hour cycles. Uh, we don't have to go into that, but I was looking that up, and, and I found this article by this company, and I really liked the article. And because I liked the article, I thought maybe the company might have more for me. Went to the company, figured out that the company was a social, uh, not social, sorry, it was a time and energy productivity kind of app. And so it was called Focus Time. And so I decided, hey, I like the article. Let me download a free trial of the app. And now I still use it to this day. So this, uh, I guess this is a shameless plug for Focus Time, but that was a great example of a very top of funnel strategy for SEO. Their blog post ranked for a term, Ultradian Rhythm, that doesn't really have much to do with the direct service that they have. Because, I, because at the end of the day, they're an app. They're not here to talk about academically about what Ultradian, Ultradian Rhythm is, but because Ultradian Rhythm to them is still relevant and can be considered top of funnel, I didn't even know that they existed. I didn't know I wanted an app. I just wanted to learn more about this concept. So that's a great example of where I was engaged as a top of funnel uh, lead because I knew I wanted something. They met me at the top of the funnel because they had information about it. And because I liked it, it eventually drove me down their funnel. So that's something that I want you guys to think about. It's a great example of a way of business or a company can use top of funnel strategies for SEO. It does not have to be like, like for this focus time in itself, you don't only have to rank for app or focus app, or emotional tracking app, or time app. 
they can go higher up the funnel to grow their business so that they can get people like me who are looking but don't know what the solution is. So again, I hope this is a great example of what you can do in your own marketing. Don't let yourself be uh, boxed in just thinking of bottom of the funnel. You can go much higher than that. So I'm going to conclude it there. I think that there's a lot to kind of go with that. You can customize that to your own company, do your own keyword research, figure out what top of funnel uh, opportunities may exist there, and you can really benefit from that. But again, I'm going to go ahead and pour some of this chrysanthemum tea. It is one I really like drinking in the evening, even though it's not evening. But hey, I, when you get to have tea, you get to have tea. If you like the video, though, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate you guys coming, and I hope to see you guys again soon. Thank you.